Welcome to XC597, Circuit Simulation and Modeling. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss the voltage-controlled current source stamp in the model modified model analysis formulation. Um, let me start, as usual, by stating the learning outcomes. After this video, you'll be able to develop a stamp for voltage-controlled current sources in the MNA framework. Uh, we will observe the impact of controlled sources on the symmetry of the MNA equations, and you will be able to update your program so that it can take into account voltage controlled current sources. Um, so, a, let's say we have a voltage controlled current source between node K and K prime, where the controlling voltage is between node j and node j prime so that's something that you know we can see often for example in transistor models right so we want to be able to uh, have a stamp for such a controlled source right um, so let us um, start with an example let us consider the circuit containing a voltage controlled current source um, so what we will do as usual we will write KCL equations at node 1 node 2 node 3 and we will hopefully be able to infer a current or a stamp for this source so let's start with KCL at node 1 so here we have the current in the resistor G1 V1 we have the current in the controlled source which is controlled so this uh, current is controlled by the voltage at V2 at V and V3 so it's GM V2 minus V3, so we add the current in the current source, Gm V2 minus V3. And on the right hand side, we will add the currents entering the node through the independent sources, and we have one of them, so this is J. So this is KCL at node 1. Then we write KCL at node 2. So here we sum the currents leaving node 2 through all the elements. And uh, so we have the controlled source. So we, the, the current leaving through the controlled source. We have so that's minus GM V2 minus V3 or GM V3 minus V2. Um, we have the current leaving in the resistor G2. So that's G2, V2 minus V3. And we have the current in the capacitor, which is C1, V2 dot. And the last equation is RKCL at node 3. So that is the current in the resistor, right? So the current leaving the resistor, leaving node 3 through the resistor G2, which is minus G2, V2 minus V3. And the current in the capacitor uh, C2, okay, which is C2 V3 dot. And we will take these equations as usual, we collect the terms and we can write them in matrix format. All right. So now we can see the impact of the, the, and the, the control source, we have GM minus GM minus GM, GM. It looks a little bit like the resistor stamp, except that it's not symmetric, All right? So the current source appears in row one and row two because it is connected to node one and node two, and therefore it appears in the KCL equations at row one and row two, right? For node one and node two. However, the controlling voltages are V2 and V3, so the GM would appear in column 2 and column 3, right? Because the controlling voltages are, G are V2 and V3, right? So one of the things that we notice here is that by having this control source, we lose the symmetry. 
So the equations are no longer symmetric. The matrices are no longer symmetric. Up to now, with all the stamps we have seen so far, the m &A equations or their matrices have been symmetric, but that is no longer the case once we have controlled sources. Okay, so the stamp then for the controlled source, right, would be GM minus GM minus GM GM in row one, row two, column two, column three, right? Row one, row two are the nodes where the current source is connected and column two, column three are the controlling voltages. Okay, so in general then our stamp for the controlled source is GM minus GM minus GM GM in row K, row K prime, the, uh, the, the, where, the, where the source is connected, and column J, column J prime, the nodes corresponding to the controlling voltages. So um, hopefully with this stamp now we could uh, develop a, I guess, update your program so that you could um, handle controlled sources at least uh, voltage-controlled current sources.